compact utility vehicles make up the largest single segment in the American automotive industry. And with good reason, crossovers today very nearly match up with sedans in refinement and driving manners while providing respectable fuel efficiency and lots of cargo capacity. People buy them because they are practical, potentially filling multiple needs with just one vehicle. The Honda CR-V was the best-selling vehicle in the compact CUV segment last year, and it has been redesigned for 2017. Major updates mean more space inside for passengers and cargo, a bit more power and efficiency from a new 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, and a quieter, more comfortable driving experience. The previous CR-V was already one of the best vehicles in its class and the fully redesigned 2017 CR-V remains the best bet for your buck. The first thing we noticed about the 2017 Honda CR-V was its size. We're all used to vehicles getting successively larger with every new generation, and true to form, Honda's compact crossover isn't really very compact anymore. The 2017 edition's wheelbase has been stretched 1.6 inches over the previous CRVs, and it's 1.4 inches taller and 1.2 inches longer overall. Thankfully, those extra inches equal more room inside. Rear seat passengers get more than 2 extra inches of legroom compared to the 2016 CRV for a total of 40.4 inches. Competitors like the Ford Escape, Nissan Rogue, and Toyota RAV4 all have around 37 inches of rear legroom. With the back seats folded flat, the cargo area is nearly 10 inches longer than before. There's 39.2 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats up, or 75.8 with the second row folded. Those capacities are at least as good as those of its main competitors, though it's worth noting that the Rogue is offered with a small third row for a total of 7 seats. Honda designers did a decent job of masking the new CR-V's bigness with shapely bodywork highlighted by muscular, bulging fenders and detailed lighting elements front and rear. A prominent horizontal chrome bar leads the way, flanked by LED headlights with strong Nike swoosh-shaped daytime running lights. The rear light clusters are massive, with a clear plastic enclosure that juts far out from the bodywork. It's strange, then that the actual amber turn signals are small vertical slits that don't really stand out in daylight. Inside, the 2017 CR-V is thoughtfully laid out, and we applaud the addition of an actual volume knob for the 7-inch display audio system. We drove a Civic the same week as the CR-V and bemoaned the fiddly capacitive volume interface that most Honda products still use. We're also pleased to see Apple CarPlay and Android Auto add into the CR-V's infotainment package. Leather comes standard on XL and Touring models, 